welcome to bitfumes and here is laravel query builder by spassy great package from spassy and the creator freak and freak is like a package king he has created more than 200 packages and this is one of the famous package with 468k downloads what this package is used for uh, yes, you can check out this video created by freak, but I'm going to show you some in a different way So this package is actually used for filtering sorting and Doing things on eloquent on SQL which you will have some difficulty in doing Like if you want to create a search system Then you need to write lots of code just for making things work making search works but here with this filters it's all like a breeze so let's get started with this and i will go to installation and setup and just grab this package from this composer i have a fresh installation of laravel and i will say require spacy laravel query builder so while this is installing let me show you what i have already set up some of the things so i have created a scope on this user model so you can see we have this scope verified then I have added one more field on the user table which is called active and here on this factory user factory I have added this uh, active field here so that's cool so I already have connected the database called query builder and I have seeded some of the users in this table so 20 users are here so now the package is installed so let's go and publish related configurations and now it is only going to publish this configuration inside config and this is the query builder so i will explain about this configuration later but let's see what this package is actually going to do so for that you can see if i go to filtering so here we can filter things so to show you i will go on the web php file and here let me clear things like this and here i will simply say result is equal to query builder for and you need to define the model for which you are going to make this uh, filtering so i have a user model like here and giving the class and then i will say i want to allow filtering so this is good and just after that let's get everything i have like this and then i will simply say return result and this allow filter needs some parameter parameter is like the name of field for which you want the filtering you want the searching so i just want to search via name but how we will going to work on this so if i start the server and then i will go to server localhost 8000 and you can see we have 20 users which is all from the database so that's good and how we can make search or make filtering work so in this documentation you can see we need to just define like this so on our url you need to say filter and then comes the name to which you are trying to filter and then the value so let's start and i want to search so question mark then filter and i want to filter from name and i will call it name is going to start from c or whatever the name which includes c so if i hit enter now you can see one two three nine 12 13 17 and 20 just a filtered version so we are getting less result which is for filtering so now you know that how you can filter a simple filter just by doing filter and name but what if i try to filter from email so i just need to say email and i want to get email which has dot net in it so you can see we have example.net or example.com so i don't want com i just want dot net so if i hit enter we are getting some kind of error it says email are not allowed for filtering so 
again on this uh, documentation you need to specify the filters if you are not specifying you are getting this kind of error okay so how we need to define if there are more than one filter then we need to give inside array so we have this and then I can say I just want one more filter which is email so you can see just by giving this email field we are now able to filter through email so every result is from email having dot net in it so this is extremely cool and this package is so useful not just yet you can also add things like I want to filter from dot net also, I want to filter from name and make sure you are not giving any single quotes. Just filter, then square brackets and inside a square bracket, the field name. So here is this filter name and I want name which include P in it. So let's hit enter and you can see just one result which is having a Cody, prefer, whatever, it is, whatever it is and then this example.net so wow looking like a magic so this package is extremely useful okay so we have seen that how we can see this uh, disallow filters uh, and uh, yeah so scope filters let's see about scope so i have already created a scope so if i go on user model you can see uh, i have created a scope called verified so i want to get all the users which are verified we having email field with value not null so you will say sarthak why not i can specify here so let's try this so here we are with email verified at which is filtering and then i will go and i will remove everything just say filter me with the email verified is null we are not getting anything let's try not null so i will say not null still we are not getting so maybe sometime it may happen that something is not working with this package there is a condition but what you can do you can specify the filter like creating a scope and then making filter by this scope so i want to create is filtering with verified and now if i say give me the filtering from verified so verified is equal to true so let's hit enter and it says column not found called verified so maybe it there is something catch here so let's go to the documentation so here we are on the documentation and it says when you want to scope filter you just need to say allow filter scope you cannot directly give this uh, string here so no problem i will say allow filter colon colon a scope and inside a scope then i will say verified so i want to filter from this verified scope so now if i go hit refresh and now it says uh, query builder verified so maybe i missed the spelling Cooper. <laughs> you need to remove this r from here so scope is good and now let's go here and then refresh this page and now you can see we have all the record which having the email verified so this is extremely useful so let's work on another thing which is actually exact filter so what if i want to search for id so filter with the id of 10 so i want to get the user which having the id 10 so let's hit enter and it says id is not allowed yeah i know how to solve this problem i just need to make sure i give id for this filtering so refresh this page and now i get user with the id of 10 cool but here is important thing what if i say just one so give me the user which id one what it is we are getting one we are getting 10 11 12 so whatever id includes one it has given us so this is not i want i want exactly matching of this id one so on this package you can have 
exact matching so how we can do exact matching so we need to see here is the exact matching just like scope we need to say allow filter on exact for the id so i will remove this from here and then uh, make sure you provide in a new line so that it will look good like this and now i will say allow filter exact id this is cool and now if i go if i refresh you can see now just one result with the id of one so this is so cool and i am loving this package and this makes your filtering your searching like a breeze so we will meet in the next episode to check about the other things which are sorting including relationships and selecting fields appending attributes and some of the other things of this package this awesome package so a big thank to freak a big thanks to spasi and his team so till then if you like this episode please share it with your friends and follow me on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye